Pops is a toxin derived from the bacteria species Clostridium. Botox has been around for a long time now, and it's been FDA approved for several different indications in the medical world. Things like overactive bladder, uh, muscle spasms in patients who might have cerebral palsy or other neuromuscular conditions. Uh, it's used for excessive sweating, used for migraine headaches, and the most popular reason is cosmetics. And the way Botox works is it helps to relax the facial muscles. And by relaxing the facial muscles, the overlying skin and soft tissue is less likely to wrinkle up. This wrinkling can be eventually become permanent if as aging continues and these muscles continue to be overactive. So by treating the muscles early on in life, before those fine lines become deep lines, we can actually slow down the whole process of facial aging by preventing or delaying the process of wrinkling of the face. So the great thing about Botox is it's relatively safe. Six million people are having this procedure done every single year, and the side effect profile is very minimal. We're talking about the most common things being um, injection site redness, uh, mild bruising at, the, at and around the injection site, and headache. Some people will develop a headache in the 24 to 48 hour period immediately after Botox injection. And a lot of people ask, well, but Botox is a toxin. Well. Yes, it is a toxin, but toxins are dependent on dose, and the more that you give, the more likely you are to get a more serious side effect. And for Botox, most studies have shown that you would require on the order of 3,000 or more units of Botox in a single setting in order to have a significant adverse side effect. And most people are getting in the range of 30 to 50 units for Botox treatment, with some occasional people maybe getting closer to 100 units, um, depending on how much of the face that they're treating. Um, so you can see that you are well in the safe range in terms of the amount of Botox being received. And so Botox is a very safe procedure in plastic surgery. So here in this first picture, you see a male patient being treated with Botox, and you can see his before and after pictures. And what you see here is that what's being treated is the corrugator muscles, which are the muscles underneath the eyebrow, which help to pull the eyebrow toward the middle of the face and also slightly down. Now typically the wrinkling occurs perpendicular direction of the muscle pull. So here we see the muscles are pulling from side to side and the wrinkling is occurring up and down. So this gives you those vertical 11 lines in the middle of the face between the eyebrows and this is typically a muscle that's used for frowning or to prevent uh, high sun glare. And in this next patient here you can see a female similar being treated with Botox for frown lines and you can see in the after result a nice smooth appearance. Now in this next photo this is the second area that is FDA approved for Botox cosmetic, and that's the crow's feet area. Now the crow's feet are these radially oriented wrinkles that develop usually around the outside portion of the eye and along the lower eyelid. Now these are the result of the orbicularis oculi muscle, which is a circular muscle that encompasses the entire eye. And as that muscle squeezes to help close the eye and the upper eyelid, it causes these radially oriented wrinkles which are perpendicular to the pull of that muscle. And here you can see with Botox treatment how that Botox relaxes that muscles, muscle and helps to smooth out those crow's feet. And in the next photo we can see a male patient now. Similar situation with severe crow's feet. Um, and again, with Botox treatment, we're relaxing those muscles.
one of the most common areas that's treated that's off-label is the forehead. And so in this picture here, this is a patient of mine that you can see has significant uh, wrinkling of the forehead when trying to elevate the eyebrows. So the two big muscles of the forehead, the frontalis muscle, help to lift the eyebrows up. These are often used uh, in a surprised look or in a look of um, inquiry. And those muscles pull up and down, and because they pull up and down, the wrinkling is occurring in a horizontal direction from left to right. And so you can see in the after photo here, with treatment with Botox, we have weakened those muscles so they don't have as much pull, and now that wrinkling is essentially gone, which gives a very nice, flat, and smooth appearance to the forehead, which makes the patient seem more rested and at ease.